Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel Ukrainian Music Video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix some sticky keys on the Yamaha Clevenova CLP 950. Before you start to repair the piano, make sure you unplug it and switch it off. I unscrewed all the necessary bolts on the piano to make things quicker. Now I'm going to show you how to open the piano to commence the repair. You don't have to be fooled by this mechanism here, it doesn't have to come off. All you have to do to remove the piano cover itself is unbolt this bit here, which slides out, and the same applies on the other side. And then you lift the piano cover, roll it until you get to this part of the rack where the gap is, and the piano cover lifts out. Then you turn it at an angle so that the front bit and the runner at each side of the keyboard lift out. Then you've removed the keyboard cover. The next stage is to remove the control panel so that you've got access to the whole keyboard. As I said earlier, I've already unbolted all the screws to make it quicker. So we lift the control panel up. Then we need to be able to move the keyboard back so that we can unhook the keys that are stiff. And as I've said again earlier, I've removed the bolts for that to make it all quicker. So what I'm going to do now is just move the keyboard back. Just enough. As you can see here I've created a little gap. Just enough to be able to lift the keys out. The next stage is going to be to remove the sticky key. Now I've already fixed the sticky keys that I had on here. I'm just going to do one of them. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove the key from the piano. What you do is you take a knife, I've got this from another YouTube video, and you put it into the side of the key and it will press a spring down and then you'll be able to pull the key out. and it clips out. Because I've made space here, I can lift it out. And that is what the key looks like. That is a spring to the key. Can you see the spring? That's the spring. A little bit of information I'm gonna give you in this video is that rather than order new keys, you can repair the key itself. The two main reasons that keys can get sticky is because they can build up grease or dirt on the side that stops them moving against adjacent keys, or because a triangular bit at the end of the key can snap off. I'm going to show you a little trick to fix that. Imagine this is the broken bit being stuck to the end of the key. That isn't sturdy. So, one solution to this is to get a standard business card that's shiny on one end. You'll want the shiny bit facing out so that it's smooth against the other keys. Imagine this is a bit of business card. So after gluing the broken bit to the key itself, you do that. Glue a cut out bit of business card and then that makes a sturdy repair. The third reason that a key might lose its action is that the spring has come out of its holder. If we look carefully here, you can see that this spring has actually come out of its holder, so it's not performing its function. All you do is you don't worry about bending it, as long as you don't push too hard, just push downwards and it clips back in. That will now serve the key properly. Now I'm going to slot the key back in. What you do is you make sure that that tip is in that corner. When it is, you press the key down and slide it forward. Let me just do it for you. Push back slightly, back and down, 
and the keys back in. Before we reassemble the piano, we just test the action with the keys next to it. Here's a normal functioning key. Here's the one we just fixed that used to be sticky and didn't come up immediately. The key's fixed. Now I'm going to show you how to put the piano together again. I'm not going to spend ages putting all the screws in, but obviously when you fix your piano, you will. First you have to shift the whole piano key platform back so that you can see the holes that the bolts are going to go into. You can see it's sitting over the holes that the screws go into to keep the piano keys, the piano key platform in place. These are the speakers. Normally this speaker is fixed just as this one is, but it has to be unscrewed to be able to unscrew the leg here that holds the platform. So that's why this speaker right now is wedged underneath the keyboard. The next stage is to lift the control panel, careful not to detach any of the wires and put it back in place over the keyboard. As you can see, again, I haven't put the screws in place, but when you do it, you'll be screwing it back into place. The next stage is to replace the keyboard's cover. So these wheels have to sit on these racks. Do you remember I said earlier that you remove a little piece here that gives you a gap for the wheels to sit in? The first part is to get the little protruding bits at the end at an angle. It's the only way they're going to, the only way they're going to fit into the slider. So that goes in there. That goes in there, higher up. And then rest the keyboard cover so that the wheels are ready to roll over and slip onto the rack in the gaps from having taken those two parts out on each side. There you go. You now have the keyboard cover in place. Then of course you just have to put the top cover on so that these bits bolt into there. And again, when you're doing it, you'd be putting the bolts in at the back that pin this down. Finally, you want to put the music stand back in, which is quite easy. Two holes, and your piano is ready to play. Now we're going to test it to make sure that the key works. It's a little ditty in G minor that I wrote a few years ago.
thank you for watching. Enjoy your fixed Yamaha Clavinova CLP 950. I'm not actually a pianist, I'm a songwriter, accordionist and guitarist. Please see other music videos on my channel, Ukrainian Music Video, many of which are on digital release on iTunes etc. And if you like what you hear, please subscribe. You can also find me at my own music website www.ukrainians.org.uk Thank you for watching and goodbye.